Hey kids, I'm Johnny. Um, you've expressed an interest in CAD drawing and architecture, so I'm going to do a video to give you a quick outline of what you can do straight away without any money, just using a cheap PC. Um, don't mind the glasses, I've just had some laser eye surgery, so I need to wear these and my eyes get really, really sore. So, architecture, design. Any job you do where you want to communicate an idea about how something should look or feel or something you're going to build, it's useful to have CAD drawing skills. What's CAD? That's computer aided design. Basically, going from sketching something on paper to drawing it inside a computer. The difference is though, when you draw on a computer, it's precisely accurate. You can change the drawing a hundred times and you can also make things like animations or photo renders off it. So the thing I use is something called SketchUp, which is a free program you can get online. I think sketchup.com or just type in SketchUp into Google. You can do it either on a browser or you can download the program and do it on your local PC. Um, right, let's crack on straight into SketchUp. Here's the workspace. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the kind of simple things you can do. The reason I'm doing this is I wanna show you how easy it is. So that enables you to think, well, hang on, that guy can do it, so can I. Let's draw a house. Uh, B for box, draw, hang on, oh, no, uh, S for square. R for rectangle. <laughs> I just pressed R on my keyboard. Now I'm gonna draw a square, and now I can make it big, and now I can put a roof on it like this. I can draw up like that. I can put a roof there, and I can draw a line across this way, uh, and I can make the roof like this. But because you're gonna be an amazing architect, you wouldn't bought, but draw something like that. That looks like something a four-year-old would draw with pen and paper. You're gonna do cool things, like make cantilevered swimming pools like this. You might draw a line here, and then another line across here. And now you've got a thing called a face, where you can pull out the side of your house. Again, I'm not gonna tell you how to do this because you can do that in the tutorials. I just wanna show you how quickly you can do some quite cool basic stuff. And now, a swimming pool, you can wanna swim inside it. So now let's make that blue so it looks like water. See that? Simple stuff. But of course you need to get into your house somehow as well. So you're gonna do a door down the bottom and you're gonna push through like that. Okay, dead simple. That's what I'm trying to get across. This is really, really easy have a mouse, a keyboard, and pretty much any computer. Now, some people are really critical of SketchUp. They say it looks like a kid's toy, and you should be using things like Vectorworks and AutoCAD, which is true, and they're great programs. But I want you to show you can do some serious stuff with SketchUp. This is one I prepared earlier. Let's have a look. This is my new warehouse at Pitch HQ. It's a big one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So. Here's the warehouse, massive shed with a giant aeroplane next to it. If you wanna look up on that, check it out online. I got planning commission to put this aeroplane here using SketchUp. So you can do some major projects with this program, stuff that most people could never do, let alone do with SketchUp. So SketchUp enables you to do things that grown-ups who take themselves a bit too seriously might not be able to do. So don't feel you can't do something because you don't have Vectorworks or AutoCAD or one of the other expensive programs. So. I drew this, I downloaded the airplane, which you can download on the SketchUp warehouse where other people have shared drawings. It's very open source. I drew my steel work. I got a structural engineer to um, analyze the structure for me to make, it, make sure it's safe and strong enough and tell me how thick the metal should be. I also drew the shipping containers to figure out the offset height so we knew the steel work was the right height. And I also drew in the access stairs that I can then put to a really serious grown up building regulations person to tell me if they're okay or not because I'm not very good at that kind of thing. And then inside the warehouse, I've drawn different floors. The first floor, all the walls, the windows, the furniture. And I've also done the uh, ground floor as well. Again, the reason I'm showing you this is to show you can do some serious design, major, major projects with SketchUp. So download it, watch the tutorials on YouTube, get into the communities and the forums as well, because anything you're stuck on, you can just uh, put the question into the forums, it'll give you the answer. And most things are covered by SketchUp tutorials on YouTube as well. And like most things, you can learn pretty much most of what you need to know on YouTube and Wikipedia. Good luck with it. And if you do a drawing, I'd love to see it. If you send me a copy of it, I'll even um, work on making the components and stuff tidier for you or give you some feedback. So I would love it if I could see you, you guys um, build up your CAD skills over your lifetime. I hope that video is useful. I hope you think if he can do it, I can do it. And that you're all gonna be amazing architects and we can create a world of better design. Good luck with it. And don't let anyone tell you you can't do this stuff because you can. See you soon.